What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In this video, I'm going to simply walk you through um, how to comply and how to really set up the back end for the new Apple iOS update with Facebook. This really is a huge um, um, update for those of you that are running conversion ads. Now, not everyone who runs ads or Facebook ads runs conversion ads. Conversion ads are really mainly like, in fact, let me just show you. Um, as you go into the ads manager, you know, the actual dashboard, and you come over here and you click on this green button, this is where all the magic happens, right? This is where it starts. This is the this is step one. This is the very beginning. I always tell people, my clients, you know, videos that I do over here, you know, training and teaching you guys, I always say that this right here is the most important. You can have the best ad. You can have the best video. You can write the best ad copy. You could be targeting the, 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 most, the most relevant audience, the demographics, the age, the gender, all that shit could be going for you. But if you don't choose a correct objective for based on what you're trying to do, right? There is no right or wrong. It's based on what you're trying to do. What is your ultimate goal? That's what this is about, the objective, right? The campaign objective. If you're not choosing the correct objective based on what you're trying to do, None of this shit matters. Um, so when it comes to this new Apple iOS update, it's really for those of us who are running conversion ads. Conversion ads are those um, those of us who are looking to capture a lead, right? Schedule an appointment or make a sale. So if you're running e-commerce, you know, websites and selling physical products, um, this applies to you. If you're a consultant or some type of coach or some type of business where appointments are what you shoot for, then this applies to you. And then again, leads, right? If you're if you're running ads to capture leads, get someone to click, enter their name and email, and become a lead of, of whatever product or service you're offering, um, this applies to you. This is conversions, okay? So that right there, conversions. That's what this whole update really um, evolves around is, is those of us who are running conversion ads. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of take you through step by step on, on what to do first um, and how you really want to want to make this you know as simple as possible. So all you're going to do is you're going to come into your business settings. Now, a lot of you that don't have a Facebook business manager, that's what you have to set up first. So all you're going to do is go to business.facebook.com. So business.facebook dot com let's see if i can facebook.com so business.facebook.com that will let you know if you actually have a business manager okay so um if you don't have a business manager set that up right away if you if you do then um okay so so it's just taking me straight in because i have one but it'll let you know right there if you have one or not okay and then and then um if you do, then you're going to come into and or I should say when you do, when you set it up, just come into the business settings. That's all you're going to do. You're, all you're going to do. You're going to click on here, go to business settings. That's it. OK, so right here, this drop down, make sure that that's your new business manager. OK, that's the account that you want to work out of. All you're going to do is come down here to brand safety. You're going to click on domains and you're going to add a domain. So all you're going to do is put in the URL, not the www, not the HTTPS, none of that, just the URL. You're going to put it in right there. You're going to add domain. And then what it's going to tell you, is going to give you a few instructions on what to do through GoDaddy. And all you're going to do is simply, or Namecheap, wherever you're getting your domain. Very, very simple. All you're going to do is log into your, into your, your domain registrar, um, however the hell you say that. Um, log into where you where you purchased it and then come to manage DNS. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to manage DNS and then it gives you some simple instructions on what to do. You're going to add a text file, TXT. You're going to um, see a link where you're going to copy it and then add it into a text file in GoDaddy or Namecheap or wherever. Very, very simple. And then once you do that, you click on the green button, which will say verify right here. It'll say verify. And then if it takes you a few times, you know, hit verify a few times or refresh the page and then and then it'll be active. This red dot up here will go to green. OK, so that'll be a green dot just like that. That has to happen first. OK, once you do that, that's number one. You have to verify your domain. You have to be running ads to a a a, a custom domain that you own. That's that's number one. That's that's the biggest update for sure is that you can no longer run it to links of, of, of other sort or other kind. Um, although you own that 
although that might be your click funnel account or your Karcher account and 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 that's where you make your landing pages or your website that's fine but if you don't own that domain that .com that it's forwarding from then that's that's the that's the change over here so you have to own that .com um, and then just get it get it verified through through the business settings through domain right here once you have that, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a custom conversion, okay? So a custom conversion is simply letting Facebook know this is the ultimate page I'm trying to get people to. So for example, I have this one... Um, I have this one page that I'm driving traffic to, right? So I'm driving traffic to this one page, two pages, landing page, thank you page. That's it, two pages, right? Landing page, Thank you, Paige. When we run Facebook ads and you see a learn more button, in fact, let me just show you. So as you're going through the news feed, as you're kind of just searching, seeing what your friends are posting, and then all of a sudden you come across you come across a sponsored ad, and that sponsored ad has a learn more button. It'll say learn more, it'll say, you know, freaking download now, whatever. It could, it could say, you know, many different things, but um, Mainly it's learn more. So let me see if I can find one. So if I scroll through and see an actual ad, let's see, where are the ads at when I need one? Um, Russell, shout out to Russell. Where's the damn ads when I need one? Um, holy shit, where are all the freaking ads? Um, Okay, perfect. So shout out to Bill. Here's a freaking here here here's a sponsored ad. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that is an ad, right? So there's a text, there's a video, there's the learn more button. So as I click on learn more and I come over to this guy's landing page, this right here, solar cheat code, that's his domain. Okay, so this is the landing page. His ultimate goal, ultimate goal, ultimate goal is to get me to fill out the form, click on the green button, and go. To the thank you page that's it two pages landing page and then the thank you page that's it right so when you're running conversion ads facebook they want to know they don't want to know about the landing page they they actually do they they do want to know about the landing page because as they as people click on learn more yes facebook needs to know the link that they're forwarding it to right the click learn more where are they going when they click learn more for sure that's 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 mandatory facebook needs to know that link but as the ad is running, Facebook really wants to know where are you trying to take them? Are you trying to take them to that link or are you actually trying to take them to the thank you page? Are you actually trying to get them to register for something or schedule an appointment or buy something? This page right here, this could easily be a thank you for purchasing page. So you're running an ad for a red handbag. I click on the ad on Facebook. I go to the page of the red handbag, I put my credit card number in, and then it takes me to a second page, thank you for purchasing. This could be that thank you for purchasing page. Second page, two pages. That's the link Facebook ultimately wants to know about. They wanna know about the thank you page. So that's what you're creating the custom conversion around, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna get that link for the custom conversion, and um, or, or, or for this page, I should say. You're gonna get that link for the page, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to the dots right here, you're going to go to events manager, which you'll see right here. You hover over this blue triangle. So if I hover over the blue triangle, it's going to show me custom conversions. That's where I want to be, which is right here. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a custom conversion. Okay. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom conversion around, I'll create a custom conversion around. Um, I just did one for the thank you page. I'll do one for, um, let's do one for, I'll do one for an add to cart page for my add to cart. And there's really only a few pages that you'll do a custom conversion around. It's the thank you page on where they land after they opt in, or again, the thank you for purchasing page, or actually, actually, you know what? That's all I'll do. I'll do, I'll do the thank you for scheduling page. Um, so as I come in and, and look for, or as I go in the future and run ads to get people to schedule appointments with me, um, what I can actually, you know what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do it around my, around my book. I'll do it around my book. Let me do it around my book. So as people get my book, they opt into my book, they end up coming to this page right here. Okay. So I'll do a custom conversion around this link right here. Okay. 
So all you're going to do is you're going to just simply copy, copy the URL, not the www. Okay, it's just the URL. And all I'm going to do is again, I'm going to click on the blue button back here, create custom conversion. And this right here is going to be the five step blueprint book. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Paige. Okay, that's and you can name that whatever you want, right? So that's going to be the thank you page. I'm going to leave it on all URL traffic. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit recommended and I'm going to search for the most um, relevant term for what just happened. This person opted in to download a copy of my book. So I'm going to come down, add payment info. No, add to cart. No, add to it. These are all the different custom conversions I can set up. Um, complete registration. I'm going to simply call this one a lead. Um yeah, I'm going to simply call this one a lead. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to paste in that URL. I'm going to click on create. And once I do that, then I'm going to see this right here. And it's going to say go to web configurations. So I click on that. And this right here, you guys, this is the big deal. This is the Apple iOS big, Apple iOS update big deal. We now have to have to um, um comply to this web event configuration. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on domain verified. I'm going to click on manage events. I'm going to go to edit. And then right over here, I'm going to see this right here. I'm going to click on this add button, this green button, and it's going to give me this drop down right here. I'm going to come down and I'm going to, there's different pixels, but what I'm going with is my custom conversion. And then right here, you'll see your custom conversion. Bam, right there. There's my custom conversion. I'm going to click on submit. I'm going to click yes, I understand. This right here, your ability to make changes without any impact on your campaigns will end once Apple begins enforcement of its iOS 14. So this is just, you know, letting you know what's going on. Once they begin enforcement, it may take 72 hours for your ads to um, for your ads and ad sets to be published after certain configuration updates. Okay, cool. So all you do is just comply, um, click apply, and that is it, you guys. So we're going to click on OK. And then what we can do also, it may take a few hours for um, for the custom conversion to go active. And to make your custom conversion go active, all you really need to do is come to that actual page, the, the thank you page, right? The confirmation page, the, the link that you built the custom conversion around and refresh that page. Um, normally, that's all you got to do. And then the conversion goes active um, right over here. Um, in fact, where did it go? Um Let's close out this, let's close out this, close out this. Normally it'll go active right away after I refresh the page, but it may, be it may take a few hours according to what we just read. So um, in a few hours, I'll come back over here. I'll, um, what I'll also do is I'll come back to the thank you page. Um, I'll refresh that thank you page or opt in if needed to. But what I'll normally do is just refresh the page. So here's my thank you page right here. Um, let me pull it up. Um, thank you page web class in progress. Okay, so here's my thank you page right here, where, you know, the page that they, they land on once they opt in. So normally, I'll just open up that page and then come back over here to the um, to the custom conversion and refresh it. And normally that goes active, but it looks like it's taken a few hours now. And that's fine. I'll come back over here. And I'll hit active. But what you want to do for sure is set it up and then comply to the web event configuration. As long as you can match these up over here, um, right here, then you're good, okay? So let that right there, match those two up, let it resonate for a little while, and then and then again, come back to your custom conversions and simply refresh it, and, and, and these should be active, okay? So even if you have to opt into your own page, that's fine, but normally you just go to your thank you page, just go to that actual confirmation page. So if you're working in pages or, or landing pages or click funnels or Kartra, you can easily just go to this link, go to the thank you page link and open it up, refresh it. And normally that does the job, but it looks like it's taken a few more hours and that's fine. But that's what you got to do. You guys add that domain, um, um, set up a custom conversion, right? Set up a custom conversion and then knock out this web event configuration. That's the big update around Apple iOS um, 14 update with Facebook. Okay. So one last thing you want to do over here in, in, so what you'll want to do is you want to come over here. This is the last thing, hit event manager, click on the dots, click on event manager. And then what you want to do this last part is you want to simply, um, come to the settings 
and you're going to you're going to let Facebook know that it's okay to be to be driving traffic from that link. It may seem like a few steps, you know, that that that, that are added now, and it is what it is, but it's simple. So just click on settings, and just simply come down, and you're going to come down to the traffic permission. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, traffic permissions. Okay, so I'm giving permission this pixel and this um this this custom conversion. I'm giving it permission to draw traffic from these two links okay um and if i click on edit well what it'll also let me allow me to do is block certain domains so i can remove it i can remove it from the list um, allow certain domains to send you traffic and event data by adding them to an allow list okay so and then i can add a block list so um you're already using an allow list to stop receiving to stop receiving traffic from certain domains, to use the block list, you will have to clear all domains on your allow list. So that's fine. I won't do that. But if there's any other random domains, then you can block that. Um, but you should be fine if you just create that allow list and and um, and let Facebook know, okay, these are the, the two links. It may seem like a second step, but it is what it is, man. It's freaking, it is what it is. So knock that part out create your allow list around those links that you're going to be um you're going to be driving traffic to and that's it you guys so any comments man drop me a comment below and if you're new to the channel man my name is david um i'm out here in san diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing business um dropping bombs on social media marketing facebook advertising and simply making money online so if you got any freaking value man give me a like subscribe drop me a comment below let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how i can bring value to what you got going on online all right guys over and out i'll see you in the next video